we're gonna do something I ain't did a video on, but I've done it. I think maybe I have, I don't know. Um, anyway, we're gonna do some rotisserie chicken there. All right, now I'm gonna do this two ways. One lemon pepper and one with my favorite Jack Stack seasoning, okay? So first, I already got the fire going, okay? We want to get it about 350 degrees, 300 degrees. So get this going over the fire there. Lube this up with some good old olive oil. coating on there okay. all right all right it's another hot day here in Kansas not as bad as the other day when I was doing some videos all right so first let's get some just nothing more than salt and pepper blend here. Salt and pepper blend. Gonna get it here into the cavity. Some more fresh rosemary. That crystal grows. Put some of those sprigs in there. And then as it cooks, we'll see how it goes, but I'm thinking I'm going to baste it with some butter. I bought this rotisserie, I think Grizzlies, Grizzly Company website, 50 bucks. I tell you what, I'm in love with this thing. It's battery operated, you'll see how it goes. But I love this thing. Get some lemon pepper on this one. Look at that color. Then I'm also got some wood chips that's been soaking in water for most of the day. It's a, that blend of pecan and cherry my two favorite and then it's got a little bit of oak chips in it you can get it pretty pretty done at uh academy there all right i wish i had an orange last minute thinking i would have threw thrown some orange oh not on that one i would have thrown some orange on here but man And I may have to get out my butcher's twine. Keep up them uh, legs. But we're going to see how this is going to go anyway. gonna hope it's gonna rotate okay now we want to one with that two with that three with that okay so we got about a 300 350 degree temperature going there yeah see you can hear it already Oh yeah. Here's that B and B chips. Okay. 
and like I said I soaked them so the one thing you're gonna have to keep an eye on is these chips get dried out they'll catch on fire sometimes which it ain't a bad thing distribute my heat out some it's not a bad thing okay if you know me I cook the temp and not time So, so we'll get some of the smoke going here. Look at that. Two o'clock right now. I'm gonna let this smoke up some. Let this rotate. I will. As it's cooking, redistribute my heat so you can get some see some flames in there right now, but that's okay. That motor is loud, but you don't have to do any of the work. You just gotta check it and keep an eye on it. See, it's already sliding out some because that end's down a little bit. And I might want to flip that over, but we'll see how it goes right now. It's definitely turning it. All right, I'm gonna let this cook. Okay, about 30 minutes in, we're getting some good color. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it for a second. See if I can't inject some butter. Oh, my needle. There we go. Butter makes everything better. Look at that. Don't want to rub too much of my seasoning, you know. still got some good flame going. I'll get ready to put some more coals on. You could use regular wood. I just didn't want to go out and get any. So I'm just using charcoal. She's getting up there, getting some good color. Let me bring you in on that one. Got some real good color on there. Okay, so we're about an hour and a half in. We're gonna give this a check. While we're checking it, Fat Man likes his butter here. Yes, I do. in the meat, actual meat, there we go. Don't want to rub, rub, rub it too hard. So it takes the seasoning off. Okay, we're in the 140s there. Fifties, almost one sixty. Let's check this part here. We 
can see some of the legs are starting to peel back. Okay, about 145. Okay, see that leg there? That leg is pulling back already. Okay. So I count about five and six seconds, so that's still about 350, 350 degrees. So we're still good. Here in a second, I'll throw a couple more coals on just so it stays consistent, but I think we're gonna be looking good in about 30 more minutes. We'll give it, a, we'll give it another go and look. But it's staying juicy, look at that. It ain't dried out at all. Yeah, as you can see, we're getting close to the tent, so I stopped it so I can kind of crisp it up some. Look at that. You can see that, but look at that leg there. That leg's already coming back some from the bone. So we're just a few minutes away, but I don't want to leave it stationary too much because you'll see if you just leave it on there like that, all your juices are going to drip. As it's spinning, it stays in there some. At least that's what I tell myself. If, we, if you leave it like this too long try to cook it, that's how it dries itself out. You can see here, boy I got some my butter stayed on there and juices are coming out of it. Boiling up right there son. I want to give it a little bit of color. That's all I'm doing. Just giving it some color. Now, as this thing was cooking, I think we're about two and a half hours in. Because my coals, or if you use wood, whatever you want to use, you got to reposition them. That's why I use tongs. Highly recommend you, uh, when you do this, if you do this method, you have some tongs on you. Look at that bone right there on that drumstick. Whew. All right, look at that. It's getting good. Let's see how it looks now. Like I said, about two and a half hours in. I'm shooting for 165. I know that's loud. 165. Look at how good that looks. All right. Worst thing is, it's not done. And I go to cut it. I just gotta put it on a pan or a grate and finish it up. But I'm pretty confident it's done. Look at that. Look at that. So, we're going to pull these bad boys off of here. Oh, 
Flies, man. And now, God, that's good. I can taste the lemon stuff. Jack stack. Look at that. You see how well that is cooked? Rotisserie. Two and a half hours. Rotisserie style. And that's going to do it. Thanks for joining the uh, around the pit. We'll see you next time. Take care.